Now in part D, we've got to find the angle ADC. So I'm going to mark that in as theta. Now when you need to find the angle between two vectors, it's important that you always use the vectors that come away from the angle. Because what I'm going to use is a formula, the scalar product formula, which will be cos of the angle, cos theta, equals the vectors dc dotted with dA. dc dotted with dA over the magnitude of the two vectors. The magnitude of the vector dc multiplied by the magnitude of the vector dA. This is a formula that you should know and be able to use when you're trying to find then the angle between two vectors. Now it is, I'm just going to remind you again, it is very important that you have these two vectors coming away from the angle. If, if say, the vector dA was reversed, in other words it was A to D, you'd actually be finding this exterior angle here. The same would apply if, say, this vector was in that direction and C to D were reversed, okay, you're coming in this direction, you'd be finding this angle here. So, dead important that when you find theta, you have your vectors coming away from the angle. Okay, well, with that said, we need to crack on. We need to get the vector, for instance, D to C. Well, D to C is dead easy because D to C is exactly the same as the vector O to D, which we found earlier. Okay, O to D then was the vector D up here. I'll just write it in again anyway. 3 over 2 I plus 3 over 2 J minus 3 over 2 K. Alright, we've got that and we next need to find the vector d to a. Now, there's many ways of finding the vector d to a. The way I'm going to do it is that I know that d to a is half the vector b to a. So we'll just put that down as half the vector b to a. Now, what is b to a? Well, b to a, okay, is the same as going from b to o, which is minus b, followed by O to A, which is plus A, minus B plus A. Or I could rearrange that and say it is A minus B. So if I work that out then, I get a half of the vector A minus B. So if we subtract B from A, we'll have in the I components 2 minus 1, which is 1I, for the j components, we would have 2 minus plus 1 here, so that gives 1, so that's 1j. And then k components, we have 1k, subtract minus 4k, so that's going to be 5k. So when we do half of this vector, we have a half i plus a half j plus 5 over 2k. OK, so we now have DC and DA. We need the magnitudes of the two vectors. Well, DC and DA are going to be exactly the same length, OK, in a rectangle. So all I need to do is just find one of them. And so I'm going to find the length of DC. And to get the magnitude, the length of DC, all I need to do is do the sum of the squares of the components and square root that value. So in other words, it will be the square root of okay, 3 over 2 all squared, the first component, plus 3 over 2 squared again, plus 3 over 2 squared. And if you do that, what you get is the square root of 27 over 2. And that works out to 3 root 3 
over 2. Okay, and this length, as we said, is exactly the same length as dA. So that's going to equal dA, the magnitude of the vector dA. Now, all we need to do is put this together in this formula for cos theta. I'll just draw a line down there. Now, cos theta is angle AD C, cosine of ADC, so I'm going to change this to therefore cos ADC equals now DC dotted with DA. When we're dotting two vectors together, we just multiply the components together and add the, that result. So we have 3 over 2 multiplied by a half. I'll show the working as 3 over 2 multiplied by a half plus then we have 3 over 2 here multiplied by a half again 3 over 2 multiplied by a half plus and then we have minus 3 over 2 times the 5 over 2 so we have minus 3 over 2 multiplied by 5 over 2 and all of that is divided by the product of the mods of DC and DA. So that would be 3 root 3 over 2, 3 root 3 over 2, and we might as well square that because both values are exactly the same. Now if you work this out on a calculator, you find that you get minus a third. So to get the angle ADC, therefore angle ADC, is going to equal the inverse cos of minus a third. And that turns out to be 109.471 and so on degrees. And if we round that up, say, to three significant figures or the nearest whole degree, that's going to be 109 degrees to three significant figures. And that brings us to the end now of this question. Part D.